Hi guys, this is an update to Hair Strand Designer. This is version 1.7. So for a while, it's been frustrating that you can change the randomization of individual sets. So yeah, if you click this, now all the sets are going to change based on this ID because if you click on one, it can now override that ID and it doesn't affect any of the other sets. So there was a bug initially. If you change the number of strands in one set, each each following set would be affected but now because they have their own absolute uh, seed value then that's now no longer a problem and uh, it's going to be a lot better I'm going to add uh, in the next version some the ability to change the thickness ranges because I know sometimes people want to add eyelashes or something to the same texture set and if you currently add thickness it affects all things so these are going to be in the next update um, but for now I thought it would be good to uh, give you guys this um, so that you can actually randomize each set however you like and you can also put in seed values so if you've got one selected press F1 and you can put in 1, 2, 3 here and you can choose this one press F1 and also do 1, 2, 3 and these will be exactly the same and then you can do your extra uh, work on those uh, like that so i hope this uh, is a you know a good update for you guys um i think i'll probably talk a bit more about the workflow later uh, but i just wanted to to cover the mixers one more time and how how useful these can be to really make some variation so you see with the mixers they they affect everything same idea but if you click on uh, if you click on one of the sets the mixers will only obviously apply to that current set right and you can play with the offset and stuff um so if i was to go into mixer 2 here and i can mess with this i think initially everything's got a little bit of mixer value from the first set so for example if i right click to come off of this you'll see that uh, by default there is a little bit of mixer amount on everything so I might actually turn this off um, and you see you can override and you can change the offset and things like this and uh, get some really interesting effects you can also move these kind of wherever you want like so right, I've moved them around beforehand just to give you some variation and let's just move this here i'm just gonna click this one again so we'll just work on that let's increase the number of strands and let's give it a bit of waviness and variation to straighten it out a bit and root jitter and tapering and you can play with these values to get different effects um, so these are really good for getting much more variation out of, um, out of this. Uh, I'm just going to make the strands a bit thinner. And, uh, yeah, obviously these amounts are a bit too much. So that one, that one, this one's the kind of busy one that I want. See where I'm actually affecting this in real time based on this. This button one is also like another offset you can mess with this. It won't actually make the hairs go up. Uh, the algorithm always goes down the way, but you can kind of force something to happen. I did something like that. And something really different uh, so once you're happy it's always good to sort of render a color map at least to see how it's going to look uh, so the next thing I'm going to work on is the, the thickness ranges and the colors per set I don't think that's too difficult so I've got it working like this so far um, 
you've got the randomized things going on per set. And I, I believe it's working. I uh, hope it's working. Uh, probably needs to be checked a little bit more. Uh, let's come out of that. Let's just make sure if I add some random stuff to this and let's do slow mode. It's going to do two strands so it's really obvious to see this and render the color map. This should hopefully look exactly the same. If not, then I've got more bugs to fix. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty close and it does actually have. A random override value, so let's just try another one and then generate the color map. We should get close to that, and if so, then this is pretty much ready to go. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the update for now. And like I say, I'm going to work on overrides for the thickness and whatever else I can manage really uh, over the next few months. Uh, as I get some time to work on this, so I think it'll be the same idea with color uh, that you can choose a color, uh, but then you could go essentially into a single set and then change these to get something specific to that set. But for now, yeah, everything is getting it, but it shouldn't be too difficult, it's just a whole lot of new variables that I need to add, uh, as well as make sure it's. Uh, saving okay but now that I've managed to do it with uh, the uh, the randomization feature uh, I think it's just a, a similar idea but just maybe a bit more fiddly it's been a while since I looked at the code and done any series updates so just making this work uh, did take me a good part of a day or two and uh, yeah, I hope to just keep fine tuning these little things because I think they're useful and people are still using this tool, so I'm super happy about that. Um, uh, I never expected as much usage as it's getting, and uh, I know some studios are using it, and it's comparable to the, the current competitor uh, called Fiber Shop, and it's comparable even to maybe xgen or something to generate hairs now it doesn't obviously do certain things as good but you can kind of force it to do um what you want in a way um but it's really up to you how you choose to generate your hairs uh, people prefer this over the other just because um that's what they like so maybe other things that i'll do is like literally make nearly every feature be uh, overridable per set and I don't necessarily know if we need these little notches and everything to go orange um, uh, it was just a, something I thought about but I don't know who's actually looking at these things and seeing those overrides um, maybe I'll make it an option maybe some information an uh, information table about each set instead of this and it be maybe save some some uh, the UI draw time and get a bit more frame rate out if I don't have to draw all these little dots everywhere and maybe even values everywhere and just have sliders but I don't know uh, people like the values and I think even the value things might be a bit broken in some places it's been a while since I checked these but I think maybe they're okay uh, so there's, there's a few bugs that still need worked out I suppose and uh, obviously anything that's an override goes orange but like even in this case I've not added any dots or anything um, yeah so uh, override the variance would obviously be good as well the thickness variance and root and tip fading would be good per se uh, obviously the mixer already does a per set thing uh, the mixers are three mixers for the whole range of things but you, you override the amounts uh, color tones I guess would be the next thing thickness and um, distance we don't need because that's for all sets uh, maybe in the future I'll also add some kind of way to recomposite 
rendered images so if you do have um, pre-rendered stuff then you can mix in something and it be composited to something else I'm not too sure of that but we're getting closer to planning the next version if I have the time and budget next year I'm trying to free up more time now that I've got a little baby as well it's not easy um, and I'm also managing an art source company so it's, it's just a lot of time has been used up and uh, this is full of li little kind of uh, nuances and bugs and things that I wish I could I could actually fix and improve but um, I've just been so busy yeah I'm just I'm, I'm full of excuses right now uh, with this and um, I think really because I did try and make a a sequel to this, here's Strand Designer 2, and I was writing the code from scratch. I, I've attempted that about three or four times now, um, and kind of uh, just not managed to, to make anything as successful as this one yet. Um, there's, there's always problems come up with it, and um, yeah, I'm just finding it more difficult to make something as simple as this I suppose it's just getting more complicated and I'm constantly trying to compete compete now with Fiber Shop and it's already doing a lot of the things that I wanted really well so uh, for me it just feels like a lot of work to try and imitate something that's already solving the problem uh, I can say for a fact that the resulting textures uh, in, in Hair Strand Designer uh, can be a little bit better than the textures in Fiber Shop, um, purely because I'm using like pixel plotting to make these whole things instead of geometry, and the normal maps is actually a, a kind of fake effect, uh, but it actually simulates anisotropy and roundedness quite well, uh, so it somehow looks a little bit better. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling to get the the frequency to behave here for some reason the this waviness is way too strong and I don't know why but I'm just curious to see oh yeah okay I've done an override <laughs> yeah. so hope you enjoy uh, this update I'm gonna post this in the next hour or two and and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy using it more now and yeah thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one bye